avec quoi faut-il la faucher Chère Élise, chère Élise, avec quoi faut-il la faucher Avec une faux Avec la faux Chère Eugène, chère Eugène, avec la faux There was one thing I regretted after being at music session today. I said to myself, my God, I've been spending all my time on medical care. And I saw that the music makes you want to have more time to spend with the residents, to communicate with them on a different level, especially as the contact we have is often restricted to technical aspects. While in fact there are so many other things to be shared together, it really does make you want to communicate more with the residents. Le projet des musiciens intervenants dans notre établissement a pu se réaliser grâce au départ. We were able to go ahead with the project to musicians acting in our home thanks to two trainee musicians. And just to show how highly we rate the project, we've already planned a training program over the whole of next year for 10 or so employees in the home, a mix of caregivers and non-caregivers. And what I think is important, another benefit of the music, is that it forms a bond for our teams, for all the people working here. Personally, I think it does a lot of good being able to share something different, as we don't all do the same work. With the nursing auxiliaries, for example, and we get together and we work. Well, it's not actually work, it's enjoying ourselves. What happens between the musicians and the people they meet goes well beyond the simple notion of music and sound. It's more a meeting of minds. For me, it's been an extraordinary experience. It's something that I call a moment of grace. It's extraordinary what happens, the intensity of it. To see a person's mind awakening or reawakening, it's like seeing something that's long been dormant coming back to life. It's not therapy, it's simply life getting back its rightful place. It's not therapeutic, it's simply life that reprends its place. Now, is there a song you'd enjoy hearing? I would like to have a little bit of a song. Oh, I wish so much you would remember those happy days when we were friends. Life in those times was so much brighter and the sun was warmer than today. Dead leaves were picked up by the shovelful. You see, I've not forgotten the song that you sang for me. C'est une chanson qui nous ressemble. Moi je t'aimais et tu m'aimais et nous allions tous deux ensemble. Moi qui t'aimais
ne sont pas des choses qu'on fait. C'est quelque chose que nous devons faire, si vous voulez. There's a relationship on a daily basis between the caregiver and the care receiver, the caregiver and the patient, the caregiver and the resident. And during this kind of moment, the relationship gives way to a different form of exchange, which is based on emotion and which is very, very good. Talking about music in the hospital is something that always involves lots of emotion, lots of enjoyment, and it's very easy. You could ask me to talk about it for five minutes or five hours, no problem. I think musicians coming into the Long Stay Centre has had a profound effect on it. First of all in the first year when we had trainees, then the second year with professionals, and this year with Chloe. It's true there's a lot of complicity. She knows she's expected because it's a department where there's a really heavy workload. And when she comes on Tuesday afternoon, there's a ray of sunshine that breaks through and we think, great, we're going to sing and dance. I think it goes beyond singing and music. It's communication therapy. It's relationship therapy. It's about being there. And what I reckon is really important is the fact that she goes into the rooms, she stays with one person, with two people. It's a lot, a lot more than what we mean by stimulation. It's really a compliment. And I don't think we ever get tired of it. When I follow her or other people follow her into the bedrooms, we always see the elderly patient who's there in a new light, even though they might have been there for two or three years already. But when Chloe goes in there, we really do see the patient differently, really differently. And it's because we begin to understand what they are, and what they used to like, what they don't like, what excites their emotions, what the good and bad memories are. And I don't think they've had much of a chance to do this over the last 10 to 15 years. Ever since they've been old, in inverted commas, they haven't had the chance to bring out and express all these emotions. And I think that that's something that's very, very important. Oh, that's wonderful. It's nice and it's touching. To quote Winnicott, may I be alive at the moment I die. And I think that that is the challenge music can meet. In geriatrics, this could be seen as plucking the strings that set the fiber of life reverberating anew. Bum 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 b
It's been since the beginning. The first time they came, they asked me if I didn't want... if they could sing me a song. So I said, Oh, talk to me about love. Votre beau discours, je ne suis pas las de l'entendre. C'est absolument fantastique. It's absolutely fantastic. You don't think so? I think they really have to be congratulated and tell them all the good they're doing for the old people. They're marvellous. Look, I can say that since I've known them. Well, I've really been feeling better. That's because they give you the desire to carry on living and that's fantastic. It's marvellous. I'm also, you know, I can't see anything anymore. I can't hear anything. I have problems walking. And so I'm also a poor, poor old woman, if you want. But they give you hope, and that's fantastic. L'espoir, c'est ça qui est fantastique. Il était un petit navire, il était un petit navire qui n'avait jamais navigué, qui n'avait jamais jamais navigué. Oh oui, oh oui, oh oui, oh oui, matelot, matelot navigue sur les flots.